Oh, hello there. That was for you, friend Brock, seventh period. Um, inside joke, you wouldn't get it. Um, hey, guys, just wanted to kind of touch base with, uh, with you guys about your projects. Um, I unfortunately cannot be at school uh, this afternoon uh, today, so um, I just wanted to kind of quickly touch base on your project expectations, What's what things are going to look like tomorrow, just so everybody's clear on what they need to do. Um, as you guys clearly know, your project is going to start, and we're going to start your presentations tomorrow. Um, that should be nothing new to you. If you have forgotten when you're presenting, at the bottom of week 28, or week 38, excuse me, the current week on the website, there's a long list right here, as you can clearly see, of each class period and, and, and the schedule for each class period, okay? Um, you guys have also, you've been reminded on, on Friday when this list, what this list was, you will also be reminded today if you're presenting tomorrow. So just be ready to go. Um, second thing, at the very top of the bottom week as well, you see a, a copy of the rubric and expectations. So if you lost your sheet from last April, so when we actually introduced this project, um, and you need to basically make sure that you know what the expectations are, please make sure that you uh, get a copy or look at this link. Um, switch over here. Um, so this is obviously a copy of the um, project expectations and things like that. The biggest thing I need you guys to remind you is your project isn't due until the day you present. So if you present tomorrow, that's when your project's due. If you present Thursday, that's when your project's officially due. Um, you don't even need to bring your project in until then. Um, what I would uh, what I would uh, pretty much do for you is I would bring your project in the morning when you come in, um, right before advisory. Uh, find a spot on the floor. You'll probably see a bunch laying there. And then when it's your turn to present during your period, you'll, we'll get the things ready. And at the end of the day, you'll actually take your project home so we can have more people bring their projects in the next day. Um, a couple of things that I want to remind you guys about your project. You are obviously creating either a model of what your memorial or monument would look like if it did exist, or you're creating a poster that draws what your monument or memorial looked like. Now, everything that you have on your poster needs to be hand-drawn. That's obviously clearly stated in your expectations. Um, for your presentation, you do not need a Google Slides presentation. I've had some people question that as, it is as recent as yesterday, um, wanting to know what they need to do for the Google Slides. You don't even need a Google Slides. Okay, Your presentation will be you're going to get up in front of the class when it's your turn and basically present your project showing off your model or your poster. Now, what you need to talk about in your presentation is at the very bottom of your um, paper where you have uh, the expectations. It'll say questions that need to be answered during your presentation. Now, these are just some of the basics. You must talk about all of these, okay? And the more details you can give from, during these, the better you're off. Um, when you're talking about the, the design elements, don't just tell me, hey, these four paths are for the four battles they were in. Be specific. Uh, which battles were they? Why were they in those four battles? Things like that. So um, that's just an example. So the more information you give us, the better. We do not expect you to memorize your project. We talked about this. Um, and so today, after you guys, once you guys get working on this, uh, on some things today, um, you guys will have a chance to get some note cards. Okay? And I have a bunch of note cards kind of on the front table uh, over there. Um, only take what you actually need. Um, but keep in mind, a note card is not uh, permission just to simply, you know, read off the note card. Nobody wants to see that, okay? The note card should be an outline and I, just a, for a way to make sure you cover everything you need to know, okay? And obviously, you can use both front and back of the note card. Um, just be ready to go. I think if, you, if you're prepared, you're going to be fine. Um, so it's be an interesting project, a fun project for you guys to show your creativity a little bit. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can let me know. Um, but I think we've kind of covered a lot of these uh, questions you might have over the last uh, several weeks. So um, with that being said, hope can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And uh, I know you're going to do great.